Good day, viewers. Welcome to Afri's Concept TV, your number one reliable channel where you get updated and enlightened on what is happening around you. I appreciate you for the time spent while watching and viewing our channel. So if you are new on this channel, don't forget to click on the subscribe button as well as the bell button to get updated whenever I drop any video. Viewers, Father Mbaka finally names those behind the killings happenings in Nigeria, excluding Buhari. The news in details. Enugu Fieri Catholic priest and the spiritual director of the Adoration Ministry, Enugu, Nigeria. Amen. Reverend Father AGK Mbaka has maintained that President Momo Buhari should not be held responsible for the worsening insecurity in Nigeria. Mbaka stated that Nigeria's problem, including insecurity, had deteriorated earlier before Buhari assumed leadership of the country, adding that those who plot to destabilize Nigeria will receive the worst hits. He maintained that the PDP contributed immensely to Nigeria's present adversities. Mbaka made a statement in Enugu during his homily to celebrate the Ash Wednesday, marking the beginning of Lent according to the punch. In his State of the Nation message, Farambaka berated those he said we are cajoling the Buhari administration for the harrowing experience Nigeria are presently passing through without going back to history. He insisted that present political, economic and insecurity problems did not start with Buhari's administration and lambasted what he described as wasteful 16 years administration of the People Democratic Party, PDP. Mbaka said, when I was shouting it so many years ago that with the style of governance in this country, time shall come when people will be running elter skelter. Now it is happening. Churches protesting everywhere. Everything Buari, everything Buari. Our problem is immemorial. I am not trying to exonerate him totally, but it's unfair not to go back to the history of how our past leaders we are only concentrating on looting our phones, thereby leaving us in this mess. If we have had a type of worry before, our problem wouldn't have reached to this climax. Look at the effort he is making in the transport sector, road construction which is unprecedented in the history of this nation. In areas of economy, there is agricultural revolution going on, and power program to our youth. Scarcity of fuel is now a thing of the past, all to ameliorate our suffering. Tell me, a nation that has a number of unemployed youth that will not have the insecurity we are having, kidnapping, banditry and Boko Haram is as a result of joblessness and we only push the blame on Buhari alone. The only man is doing his best, only that evil of yesteryears in Nigeria overwhelmed him. That is why I continue shouting on Enugu state government to stop demolition of people's shop, even if it is to restore the master plan of Enugu state, it is untimely. What we need to do now is to reduce this insecurity, is to pray fervently for mercy of God, to locate us in this Lenten season. Our governors should go back to their drawing board. Don't leave the insecurity problem alone to worry. It can be over here everywhere. You people receive millions of Naira every month for security votes. Use those money to do meaningful things in the various states. Engage youth and see whether we will not get its right. Thank you for listening to this news. Viewers, yes, I may be a fan of Reverend Father Eji Kimbaka. I know that he has been making points in the past, but at this point, I would say uh, it's not actually making it, getting it right. It's actually misunderstanding the system of the of this of this government. You know, 
it's not biased anyway, but it's just that it's not actually getting it right in this part. I would say nobody is placing all the blame on President Mwabwari. What the people are saying is that he's not actually paying attention to the needs for. And what are the needs for? You know, in economics, we have what is called scale of preference. And in your scale of preference, you have so many needs that you definitely need as a human. You start your attention on, on the most important, the one that you feel that is needed presently, that is mostly needed presently, that is one you pay attention to. So paying attention for the one that you feel that is mostly needed is the one you call opportunity cost. Then the one you left beside for subsequent attention to be paid paid to is the one you call opportunity for gone. So President Mobari is not applying that economic policy. He's not trying to, to, to secure or call on economic ideas. I don't think he's, he's actually paying attention to, to ideas. He's not consulting economics, economic, economics idea. He's not inviting economics professionals to give him all of these ideas. Because I think if he's the type that pays attention, he wouldn't have been making these mistakes. Nobody is leaving everything to him. Everybody wants to work with him, but he's the type that doesn't pay attention. He's not welcome when it comes to listening. Okay, look at it. He has a vice president, but he's not paying attention to him. The vice president is working, but look at it. He's not working. At least the vice president is learned enough to put him right, but I don't feel he listened to his vice president. Nobody is leaving everything to him. It's just that Bwari is the kind of person that is autocratic. He believes so much on himself. He knows, he knows it all. He's just using that military system of ruling to, to, to rule this go to this gov to, to, to go to take care of this government and it's not working. Okay, look at what is happening now. Look at how uh Kano make made a move. Look at the move he just made. Anybody can quote me wrong. Well, the reason why the United States of America and other international country are now pressing out and now pushing out to support Nigeria in this insecurity problem is as a result of Munambi Kanu's move. We have Lai Mohammed there, the Minister of Information. Why is he called Minister of Information for crying out loud? Only to be to be to be rapping, saying all sorts of nonsense, being biased, beating around the bush. Instead of him to do the needful, it's not. And he's a minister. An, an ordinary civilian, a civilian that they are calling to be leader of a terrorist, is not doing, doing their job for them. He's not teaching them their job. Meaning that they are just there receiving the millions, just like Mazen, just like um, have just said, receiving all the millions without doing anything. Can you imagine? The move of of uh, Mazen Nanikano is what warranted the, the United States of America to sit, have a congress, and discuss about the welfare and well-being of Nigeria. Now, the U.S. Congress are coming up with an idea to help us in this fight, all in, in, in the name of Mazen Nanikano. This is what we are talking about. Rambaka, this is what Buari is supposed to have done. This is what his ministers supposed to have supported him. Behold, I will say that the people President Mo Buari um, used in surrounding, um, surrounding himself are not capable. They are weak vessels. They are not the type of people that are supposed to be on that seat. They are just there because of the money they are receiving. They fought for that sin because of the kind of money they will receive. And now they are on the seat. They have refused to do anything. 
Look at Mazim Nanukano helping the Minister of, Art, of Information to do his work. Can you imagine? Huh? It's as a result of Mazim Nanukano's move. That is why Trump have to stand up from his seat and say enough is enough. There will be no more killing of Christians. There will be no burning of churches. Can many organizations they have carried out rally, they have preached, they have gone around the old places saying enough is enough. Insecurity must must come to an end. It was as if they were against President Mubari. No, they were not. They are doing all this so that Buhari will stand up from his seat. Yet Buhari still remain on his seat. He will not tell me he's not watching all of this. He's not seeing all of this. But yet he sat down. Not until they now saw. I won't say he. They now saw because it's part of them. He appointed them as his ministers. They now saw the move Mazinan Nikaru made. Going up to the international courts, my dear, to cry out. And now they have heard his cry. And that is why they are coming out. And because they saw the international the international country coming out, and that's they, that's when they that's when they now know they now they are now pretending to show interest by saying hey, yes. No, they were they, they are not there at all. They should not just pretend they, 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 they know what is happening. They should not just pretend they, they have been showing concern. They should not just pretend. Because Unam the Kano has done the job for them. So if today his security issue is settled, it's as a result of Mazin the Kano's efforts. And mind you, with this. I want to say to the federal government of Nigeria, with this, Biafra is gradually being achieved and it will be achieved. Because I will say this clearly that Nigerian government knows nothing. They don't know what they are doing. With a leader like Mazum Nalikanu, I'm telling you, Biafra will be achieved because he's now he has he has involved all the in, all the hands that are capable all the countries that are capable to give them the support for the actualization of biafra and all the countries in the whole world are aware of this struggle so they cannot tell me that tomorrow that they can, no way i've said it and i'll keep saying it again that if nigeria refused to grant liberty to, to Biafra, they will be forced to do so by the international countries. They will be forced, meaning that their rights have been taken away from them. So, viewers, let's call a spade a spade. Um, uh, Farambaka, you have, you've been making points, but in this part, I will say that you got it wrong. To be frank, yes, and I don't want, I won't like anyone to, to castigate him or, you know, abuse him. No, he's he's making points. Is um everyone have his own, his own point of view, and you are free. We are we, we are free to air our views. Okay, you just try to um, uh, pick points. Where is where it, where where is where is getting it wrong and putting right? Do you understand? And I know that if he gets your message, he will weigh it with his own point and know where he's getting where 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 he got it wrong, and that is the best way of of um, teaching a person who doesn't know. All right. So please, um, your comments are of great importance. Don't forget to leave them behind. Click on the subscription buttons as well as bell buttons to get updated anytime we upload new videos. Thank you.